If you've ever bought field artillery, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome to Riffin 406. So today we are on a live range, so bear in mind with any gunfire you hear in the background. So on today's video, um, I accidentally did something. So as you know, we've got this lock, this Glock box. Uh, inside this one is a Glock Model 29. Let's see. Compact. Uh, it's Gen 4, I believe. Glock 29, 10 millimeter. Um, so, what I accidentally did today is, uh, as I'm pretty sure I just replaced it with this lock Glock thing. This one is obviously by the plates. MOS, so this is capable of taking a red dot. Uh, this is their slide mounting system. And this is what I bought. This right here is a Glock. See if I can get it to focus. This is a Glock Model 40. This is the long slide 10. So this is a Gen 4, so it takes different back straps, 15 round mags. All that happy stuff. I literally just picked it up like an hour or two ago. Walked into my favorite local gun shop. Uh, they were just putting the price tag on it. It was too cheap to pass up. Um, it was one of those just, you know, good deal when you see it kind of things. And uh, I kind of impulse bought it. This is what I've been wanting for quite a while. It was a long slide 10. Um, they s seem to shoot pretty well. I've shot one previously. Um, and for 10 millimeter, it just seems like it's the bee's knees. So what we're going to do, so again, 29, let me take this out of the box, make a little easier. So Glock 29 on top of the 10. Turn them so you can see them. That is how much shorter a compact 10 millimeter is versus the extra full size. So obviously, same width. This one has Trigicon night sights on it, standard Glock sights. Not a big deal, but uh, you can see you get two, fi two fingers and uh, your pinky just hangs off into no man's land. Glock Model 40 is obviously a full size grip. Uh, six barrel. This thing is going to do well. So uh, now we are going to set them up. We're going to shoot them side by side. Um, and then I'm going to give you kind of my first shots, first impressions off of the long boy Glock. Hey guys, Rick 406. So we are going to shoot the Glock Model 40, the long slide 10 MOS. So first, the first rounds we're going to put through it, the very first rounds to this gun are Cellar and Bellet, Jacket Hollow Point, 180 grain. All right, so we're gonna shoot at uh, 15 feet. Not super far, we're checking for function. Gun doesn't go off in the chamber, which is good. All right, first rounds, first round through the Glock. Model 40, long slide 10, here we go. Alright, first five rounds. Let me spin the camera around. Alright, so spin the camera around. Not super happy, but that's okay. First five rounds. Pretty soft. There you go. Alright. Next ten rounds. 180 grain S and B all points. Damn gun's broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that 
Except for that one. That, that was actually pretty good there. That little guy? That was yeah, that little guy, guy. I don't worry about. Let me flip the camera around. All right. So that is my buddy's group. Same distance, 15 feet. Dropped one, but that's all right. He had double the chances to screw it up. Probably some truth. <laughs> all right. So now we are going to shoot the Glock 29 back to back. Uh, we're using my hand load, so we're going to shoot this thing first. We're going to shoot two rounds out of this, switch to the other one, and see how they feel. So here we go. Definitely seems a little snappier, makes sense. Nope. I guess we want to shoot the same comparative load. All right, AA number nine, 12.5 grains, 180 grain projectile. All right, um, actually pretty comparable. All right, hang on. All right. All right, so we're going to do two rounds of the Flush Fit magazine out of the Glock 29. Uh, these are 180 grain over 12.5 grains of AA number 9. Uh, they definitely bark louder than the cellar and bellets, but I think that's mostly just noise. So uh, let's see what we can do. Flush fit is a lot harder to hang on to. Yeah. Uh, there's not a whole lot of, that's why I shoot with a 15 round mag. Oh. And then uh, <laughs> now we'll do two rounds of the exact same 180 grain, AA number nine, 12.5, 12.6 grain, and out of Glock model 40. Both of those are actually on target. And those are a lot more pleasant out of the 40 yards. Yeah, they? yeah. Yeah, that, that is way more pleasant. Yeah, um, I can't wait till I can test the velocity because with that extra like three inches of barrel, I should get, uh, I think it's going to be like another 200 feet a second. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Pause, boy. All right, so we're going to try next. We're going to shoot two rounds factory 180 grain cellar and bellets. And then we're followed with two rounds of my 180 grain full metal jacket, hollow points. So we are just going to shoot these and see how much recoil difference there is. So two factory rounds, two reloads. So factory, here we go. And reload. Yeah, those definitely have a little bit more spice to them, but not incredibly bad. <laughs> All right, so we're going to shoot some more factory rounds here, get a feel for this thing. Also, let's not shoot my phone. Stop swinging. Well, we're going to push it out a little bit further. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that, so there's no reason to. Why shoot a second round? All right, so we've got two rounds of factory 180 grain cellar and bellet full metal or uh, hollow points. So we're going to shoot these third row, far right target. We're just going to lay that red dot right on top of the front sight. Let's see what we can do. Not as, left and right. Not as good as I would have liked. So we're going to switch to 108 grain full metal jacket, reload. A number 9, 12.5, 12.6. We are going to shoot at the second row from the bottom. Oh, the message. We're going to shoot at the second from the bottom, middle, 25 yards. We're just going to put a couple of rounds. 
Let's see what we can do. Pretty terrible. Alright, so we got a handful around. So we're just gonna shoot as this thing walks its way in. Those are the first shots of the Glock Model 40 long slide 10 millimeter.